They're considered pest animals by logging companies and um, palm oil companies, and so the mothers will be killed without the knowledge that there was a baby there. And that's when they end up with babies to rescue. It looks like such a fun job and it is absolutely exhausting. Those guys are hard workers. Most of them have given up their lives to be to be part of Voss and to care for these animals. Orangutans are born very dependent on their mothers, much like human babies. It takes them a long time to develop the skills they need to survive. In the wild, a baby orangutan would be with his mother up until age eight on average. They have to learn all their survival skills from, from their mother in that time period. And if thrown back into the wild without those skills, they don't have any chance of survival. The nice thing about orangutans is they get more independent as they get older. They're mostly solitary animals in the wild, but some are just like kids. Some are more clingy than others and have a harder time with that. Um, so you have to teach them why they get good things for, for being independent. Ludi liked people a lot and wanted to hang out where the people were. If she continues that behavior and doesn't get more independent, then she could potentially seek out people in the wild. She's not gonna learn the skills she needs to survive in the forest because she's always gonna wanna be where her caretakers are rather than engaging in her environment. Forest School is a school for young orangutans to learn the survival skills they would need in the wild, things that their mother would have taught them, how to climb, also learning to find food that's safe to eat, learning to watch out for predators, people being the, their main predator. If they don't learn the skills they need to survive by a certain age, they get to be too big to go to forest school, too big and, and dangerous at that point, and they won't be able to be released. Ludi would go with her class out to the forest each morning and then a couple hours in she would just disappear and skip school and head back to uh, the vet area. So we taught her to stay in the forest and that she'll get good things when she's there. We um, knew that she liked bananas and raisins so we wrapped bananas and raisins in little leaf packets and we went into the forest with her and we showed her these leaf packets and she was excited about them and then we just started hiding them. She soon learned that if she moved away from us and started looking around in the forest that she would find her favorite foods. Yeah. Oh, she watched mine. She's like, mine's the secret. Ah, good. So as soon as she figured that out, she was, it was a game to her. So she'd go make a beeline from one tree to the next, seeing what she could find. It was awesome. Just to see her taking the initiative to go out and keep looking, even once she'd found everything, she'd still be out there continuing to look. And that's exactly what we wanted. It's very rewarding. We went along and helped release multiple adults to the pre-release islands. Those animals, you know, to see them come out of their crate and climb up a tree and, you know, be in such a natural environment is incredible to see.